Hi, my name is Joni Isinger. Welcome to my channel. Please go to joniswhitelighthealing.com for more information about me. On my website, you'll find out how you can get a session with me. Contact me through my website. I offer in-person sessions for folks who are local to North Central New Jersey, and I also offer phone, Skype, Zoom, FaceTime, and Facebook video sessions. They are all equally effective. I am a psychic, a medium, a healer, and a spiritual counselor. I used to be a therapist. I am no longer a therapist. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please see your healthcare professional, mental health care professional, financial advisor, and legal professional for all your needs. With that being said, I'm going to go in regarding the May 2022 energies. If it resonates, great. And if it doesn't, I suggest putting the information that comes through me that I channel on a shelf. It might resonate later. I also suggest you do not hang your hat on anyone's channel because as a letter that was after P and before R said, disinformation is necessary. So here we go. I'm going to put my Joni aside and I'm going to bring in spirit, the highest of Christ-like consciousness. What does that mean? The enlightened ones. It doesn't mean that religion is coming through me. It means that I am bringing in those that identify along with my higher self to do this act of service and to offer you, the collective, the viewers, information regarding May 22, 2022 energies. So here we go. So what I'm getting here is laughter is necessary and put your um, big foot first. Uh, so let's go in with laughter is necessary. So bumps and bruises. This is not a doom and gloom reading. There's a lot of metaphor that uh, comes through me. So let's see about bumps and bruises. Rocky and jolting and twisting and turning. So there's a lot of confusion. Um, some people have rancor. They're really held with a lot of contemptuous anger. And it's very important for people to identify whether they're holding on to concepts that are not for their highest good. There, a lot of people are wrestling with what appears to be incorrect information. It's really getting to them. So people need to um, accept that maybe some of what they thought was, was so or true is in fact not. That um, there's a game being played here. There's a lot that's been made up and some people are determining that in fact what they thought were facts are in fact all part of a ruse. Bumps and bruises, people whose egos might be hurt um, as they come to conclusions about what is going on, the phenomenon in the collective of the Great Awakening. So that is my phone, which I will not be getting. Joni just keeps a-going. Here we go. The laughter, transcend and pull back. Uh, if you find that um, there's a mist or a fog about you where you are confused and you do not understand, pull back. Uh, laughter might be necessary in order to manage confusion and manage what, um, as the dust settles, as the fog lifts, um, what is before you. Let's see more about May. If you can't handle it, don't touch it. It might be burdensome, so use your discernment whether you want to get involved in something that is treacherous, heavy, hard to handle, burdensome. There's no need to get involved with something that is cantankerous, solid in form, yet amorphous regarding what it's about. Know what you're dealing with, who you are dealing with. Make decisions about how involved you wish to get with situations that could be over your head. Uh, 
May 2022, please. They're saying this is all part of a game. So this experience that you are witnessing, that you are in is, um, you're being on a, like a chessboard, moving about, finding your way across a table to get to the other side. It is about ascension. And how do you wish to play the game? Are you going to play fairly? So there are a lot that are deceiving at this time. And who are you in relation to other? Are you a deceiver? Are you apt to get involved with others who deceive? Now is your time to assess your form and who you are. Some people will not want you around. Some people will bid you farewell as you will bid them farewell. In this game, all the players have the right to choose who is on their board. Respect others. This is, there's a piece here about respect. Getting in touch with honor and respect now. Live life and have fun. There is reverie in numbers. So if you are asked to be part of an event or a group, join that group if it feels like it would offer you hope, solace, joy, peace. Avoid situations that are bothersome and would get on, under your skin, get on your nerves. Treat yourself well. Be part of a community. Again, if there are events to participate in, consider joining. It is a good time to be part of a collective. And in response to sadness, there are many that are waking up and they are seeing things differently and they have remorse, regret, Go through the myriad of feelings that you, that you are experiencing and let them go. Do not hold on to any negative experiences. Humanly, go through the experience. Express them. Accept them. Have gratitude. Forgive if there was any unforgiveness towards self and other. And Eliminate blame, martyrdom, search for peace within. When you search for peace within, you will find that your external reality is peaceful. You will have a better idea of what's going on when you come to terms with things inside. Let's see more about May 2022 energies. Avoid name calling, and if you feel that you are sinking, get help. There are many people who can assist you. This is a time of reverie. This is a time of summoning love. This is a time of advancement. Do your part. Do what feels good. You came here to enjoy and to experience the shift and to work through layers of pain. Are you doing this? Now is your time. May is a perfect time where if you felt that you have been in the grind, you can lift yourself a little at a time, slowly moving forward, ridding yourself of detritus, debris, whatever does not serve you. Keep moving forward, upward and onward with hope. And then Spirit says there, there is peace in numbers. So let's see what that means. When you find your tribe, when you find your people, it feels very, very good. So for those of you that are looking for like-minded, for others that share similar beliefs, go and do. Find. You will, you will be amazed. There are others that share similar perspectives as you do. 
I'm going to ask Spirit whether there's anything more regarding May 2022. And for those of you who have made it this far, you shouted from the rooftops, I made it, I made it, I made it, I'm here, I'm here, and I'm living, and it feels good. I'm so glad I'm here. I have a lot to do. There are a lot of things that I want to say. There are a lot of things I want to make. There are a lot of things that are available to me. It's so exciting. I'm here, and we're all. We're all working through fear and we're all holding each other up and we're getting through this and we're seeing the sun and we're seeing all the, the miracles that are before us and we rejoice. <sighs> so that is what came through me today. I hope that this assists you. I hope that your May 2022 is joyful. And since there are no timestamps to this video, if there's a give and take of shifting of days, weeks, months, and you find that this channel is, is um, accurate at, a, at another time, at a later date, or you even experience this before May 2022, great. There are no timestamps. Everything is happening in the now. So May 2022 has already occurred. You take care, y'all. Bye.